Yeah, I've been having a good time uh, practicing some of these uh, dimple tools. And um, so there's, you can see, maybe the best one is, is this one right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it is dimpled. I think you'll like this. I'm gonna show you how, how I did it. Pink golf ball. Um, it's my wife's ball. So she'll be happy to know I'm using it to create dimples in metal. So check it out. I started with drilling a hole in this piece of, well, this is not actually wood. This is a high, super high density kind of polyethylene um, foam, but it's very, it's very stiff. It's kind of the equivalent of hardwood. So I drilled, first I drilled a one inch hole. I thought that was too big. Drilled a three quarter inch hole. And then I just used my router to uh, create a, um, a rounded shape on top. So I hope you can see that it has a, uh, a dimple to it or a, like a funnel to it. And then the pink ball just sits right in there. What I found that's important from practicing on these is that you have to have the hole directly lined up with the, uh, the funnel. So I put, I have a socket that just happens to uh, fit in the hole. And then this is pretty tight, but it, it does fit. I'm probably gonna have to open that up just a little bit. And then I mark on the metal and on the, the wood its position so that as I take the socket out, I have some reference. So being careful not to lose the alignment, we put it in the press. Making sure that the lines are still there. Put the golf ball in. And I'm not using a huge amount of force. Um, I don't even have the handle on the jack, but you can see the ball is kind of stretching. And there we go. This is the one I just formed. And here's another view of the, the tool. The ball here is in, this is the larger hole. I thought that one was too big, so I tried the smaller one. And you can see how far the ball doesn't even go that far into it. And then this is just a flat surface where it just squish, squishes it down. But the good news is the ball is fine. They're not even squished. So these things can handle a lot of power. <music>